The Final Four Fan Fest might still be a few hours from opening. Fairly quiet right now. Yes. <laughs> but the Final Four volunteers are ready to tip things off. This is his first shift that he's completed. Woo! Job. The 2,000 volunteers are now picking up their uniforms and putting their own allegiances on the shelf. I grew up watching our Golden Gophers. I have two master's degrees from Duke University, but don't hold that against me. Please. <laughs> Randy Circina Jr. is one of many return volunteers from Crew 52, which helped direct crowds during the Super Bowl. In some ways, a reunion. And they've all got some tips to best enjoy this weekend. It's planned to stay the whole day whenever they decide to come down because it's so much to get involved in, so many festivities. Dress comfortably, wear layers because it'll get colder in the evening. It's supposed to be a great day though tomorrow. I think too, and just probably uh, the parking situation. After all, the road really does end right here and parking isn't cheap. Take the public transportation that's offered. It is very convenient. And they're not just saying that. I take the light rail. I take the light rail. I lucked out and found free parking two blocks over by Loring Park. <laughs> no matter what your strategy, just have one. I guess I would say, number one, don't be afraid to come down. It's okay. You're going to have an amazing time. So if someone needs help, they're going to get help from some good people down here. Now This is also going to be your best friend. This is the Final Four app. This is somewhere where you can check a list of all those events that are going on. You can even plan your schedule. And one more thing, if you're going to the event tomorrow at the stadium or anything else in the convention center, there's a clear bag policy, very strict. If you need a clear bag, they've got them at the hotels here downtown. Back to you guys. All right, very good. Thank you, Kent.